welcome to my channel if you're new or if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate you taking time to stop and watch this video um be sure your notification bell is ticked when i came back to youtube i think i've mentioned this in the last four videos but came back to youtube i guess it like reset my um settings for people who already had notifications on and lots of people are saying that they're not being notified when I upload a vlog. Having the notification bell ticked will ensure that you don't miss anything. Um, so very, very quick intro here, I guess. Um, today's video is going to be a grocery haul. I'm currently waiting on my grocery delivery from Walmart. Um, I think I spent right at $200 this week. I did have a promo code because the past two weeks my deliveries were, um, late and then one never showed up and then one had stuff wrong with it um so i'll show y'all what we got and i did have a few ibotta things i always have my ibotta code on the screen in the link in the description if you want to sign up it saves you money on your groceries and other purchases last year alone i only started i think in september so six months time i think i've saved 140 something dollars i'll take it <laughs> um but if you use my code, I get $10 and I believe you get five or 10 credited to your account after using the code to sign up. Um, but anyways, I think I had three or four Ibotta offers, so I'll let y'all know whenever I'm doing the haul. After this video, there may be a pause between vlogs just like, I don't know, a week or two because I am actually going to be doing a deep clean vlog. So I'm not into cleaning vlogs specifically. I like things worked into day in the life. Um, but my plan is since I'm like five weeks away from fall decorating, but I think I'm going to do what I did last year and get my coffee bar and kitchen done like the second, first or second week of September because it just worked out well that way for me doing fall recipes and such. I'm going to have a video, hopefully the one after this, it'll be a little bit, maybe like a week between videos. I don't know. depends on how quick I get it done. I'm going to do deep cleaning around the house. I need to clean my appliances. Get a good um, mop on the floors. Stuff that I'll have to do, obviously, again, before I decorate for fall. But um, that's just my goal. I need to clean the cabinets in the kitchen. There's just a lot of little things. So I'm going to hopefully have a really long vlog, vlog with that. So if you like cleaning motivation, be sure you stick around where you can see that next vlog. I said that this was going to be a quick intro. And then I remembered I had to say all that. So I'm going to shut up now and show you all these groceries as soon as they get here. So the grocery delivery finally got delivered. <laughs> it was late again, which isn't necessarily a huge deal right now, but there are days where um, I, I like have other things I have to get done that day. And it's still convenient, obviously, not having to go to the store with a toddler in this heat. When it cools off, I'll go and store more, but right now this is just what makes sense. But the only thing is, is there's a few things here that's not mine. So when that happens, they usually just say keep the item and then the next person gets a refund of things. But I feel bad for that person because they probably needed these items. Um, anyways, this is all of it. I'll point out the stuff that's not actually ours. I got a bag of kale because I want to make kale chips in the air fryer. I usually take Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning and some black pepper and just sprinkle it over it and spray with olive oil. Toss in the air fryer basket and cook until they're crispy. It just, I don't know, sounded kind of good. I'm a crunchy chip type girl and... Um, I just ran with all of it. So that's what that's for. Um, I really wanted to try this bubbly flavor. And I feel like maybe I tried it at my sister's house. But I'm not sure. So I got this one. I think I honestly prefer LaCroix. Um, I've heard some people say it LaCroix. But I'm like 99% sure it's LaCroix. <laughs> um, but I have been drinking. I'm actually drinking one now. The plain one a lot. This was one I didn't expect to like as much as I did because I'm not huge on like sweet berry type flavors, but this was really good and it's limited edition, so I did get one of those. I actually love this brand too. In the fall, they put out the spiced apple and cranberry one and I'm looking forward to that. I got Willow some of these. Sometimes I put these on yogurt bowls, but these are just for her and I did get just the regular ones, but they were out so the organic was the substitute. Got a box of these. Honestly, I should have gotten a box of like the name brand or Members Mart ones at Sam's the other day, but I just, I don't know, I didn't think of it. I got a, the 12 roll pack of toilet paper. I just try to make sure we always have excess. I feel like if 2020 taught us anything, it was always have toilet paper in your house. Um, I got one of these to try. I love tomato basil 
uh, tomato basil flavored beans. I got two of these that was not on my order. This is somebody else's. It's the Canada Dry Caffeine Free Zero Sugar. But there's two of those. And I kind of wish they were plain because now that I'm stuck with them, I don't even drink the Zero. This was also something else that I got of someone else's. And I'm feeling bad because I'm kind of wondering if it was like an older person getting their weekly groceries. And I don't know. It makes me feel sad. But I will go ahead and put these up and save them for when it gets cold because I probably would have bought some anyways. I got uh, a two-pack of lighters for my candles. And being honest, I have roasted marshmallows with, <laughs> with my lighters this week. And that is why I had to get more because I ran the gas out of them. So I got the big ones. Um, s'mores is like my favorite thing ever. And um, then I got two packs of the training pants, Parents' Choice gallon of whole milk this was also not um mine i it's i think i ended up getting one two three four five like six items that weren't mine on this order so i won't let any of it go to waste um i got some chopsticks because occasionally i get sushi and bring it home or something that i could eat with chopsticks and i feel like it feels weird to use a fork on that note this is like the best thing ever back when i started grocery hauls two years ago i talked about these I don't know why they're so good. It's just, I like the lean cuisine. I like the Walmart turkey pepperoni. So if when I add it, I can, but I think I'll keep it plain. This was kind of an impulse buy. Um, it's new and I love like pickles and ranch type stuff or salads with that in it. And it's actually a little bit less calorie wise than regular ranch, but I hope it is good. And I also, my sister got me hooked on the Ken's ranch. It's, I don't really care for Hidden Valley ranch, like the plain one. I like the, or I always ate the Great Value Buttermilk one, but this one right here she had, and now I feel like a ranch snob. That's the only one I really like. Um, fall is coming, y'all, but don't be fooled. It is not fall here. It is 104 today with heat indexes of almost 120, but I started seeing Walmart suggesting fall stuff, and with back to school, I remember last year and year before that, Pumpkin sold out. Like, we had, like, a pumpkin run, and there was a shortage, and you could not get it for months. So, I do have some on the shelf, but I went ahead and got three cans. Um, they last several years anyways, but I'll be baking some stuff with you guys. And also, I want to try this year making some savory pumpkin things and then um, some healthier type desserts. This was not mine. It come on the order. Somebody else's in preparation for fall time. I don't use my, uh, I call it a crock pot, my slow cooker a lot. And when it's hot outside, because I just eat lighter food, Michael, he, like, he's one of those ones that will only eat soup and stuff if it is cold outside. I can eat it at all times, but I do like having these because it saves washing time, soaking time, whatever. Um, to eat with these, I thought this was, you know, kind of sounded good. I'm trying to hurry, y'all. <laughs> I keep having a pause. Um, I love Taylor Farms brand. Like, I, I love Taylor Farms. I like the little mini chopped kits they recently put out, but I have to go to Kroger to get them because Walmart doesn't have them. And, um, like their bag salads, I like those. And then I like their veggie stir fry, but I got the one with noodles this time. I'm probably going to break this into two portions. Um, I think it's meant to do two or three. So I got one of those. And then this wasn't mine, but funny enough, I'd had this in my cart to eat with that. And then I changed my mind and got this. So I got somebody else's thing here again. I got these minis. I think with it being so hot outside, also the cold is sounding good. And I think Willow will eat that. Um, also, I got one of these. It's a little bit higher calorie, but this will definitely fill you up. And I'm not doing low calorie anymore so much. I'm just doing like making sure I get protein, fiber, and trying to like equal out, make sure I get enough produce during the day. Um, got some of these. I only got four because we go through spells of eating a lot and then not eating any. I don't hardly buy many of these anymore. They're more for convenience and like days where she's maybe teething or just doesn't want a lot of like crunchy type food. So I only got three. Actually, I got three of these and they only had two, so I substituted that one. I also got a can of the olive oil tuna. This is the roasted garlic one. There's something I'm going to have to look on my Pinterest. <laughs> There's something on there I saw, I think, and somebody had used this and I thought it sounded good. And then I got some of these for me and Willow this week, but I don't know if y'all can tell a lot of them are like already gross and I always get refunds on those because if I were in store, I would not be wasting my money on that. Willow doesn't eat baby food anymore, but she loves this and I figure it's kind of like butternut squash soup or pumpkin stuff whatever um so that is the one that I do still buy she just goes through spells with it but she feeds herself this one um 
This is something new. I had been trying out the Tree Hut Watermelon. I think it was shave oil or something. But it was really expensive. It was just kind of like a, a random treat thing I bought. Um, but I needed something to shave with. I got this one because it had the colloidal oatmeal and it's for sensitive skin. And lately my legs have kind of been breaking out when I shave. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to use this with my dinner tonight. It's the veggie sprawl. So I'm going to use it like in place of pasta and do like a shrimp um, parmesan cream type sauce, I guess. We bought a dryer recently and it had... I didn't, I felt like I needed to show myself right quick. We bought a dryer two weekends ago and that was the vlog where I made the tuna noodle casserole and done like a weekend in the life vlog and I lost footage. Like I don't know what happened because it wasn't even in my trash can like where I cleared memory out. I don't know what happened but I ended up losing footage and part of that footage was showing y'all that. It's nothing I mean exciting to, to me it is but I didn't want to have to pay that much for a new dryer. But we did get a five year warranty so that's a plus. Um, so we bought a new dryer and they had the bounce outdoor fresh dryer sheet sample in it, which it was the big sheets, which doesn't really matter, but it just smells, it honestly does smell like when you line dry your clothes. And, um, if we live somewhere where I could have a clothesline, I would, but I need a dryer sheets and those smell better to me right now. So I got those. That was random. And then I got this, I think it's new and it smells really good. Um, it smells like something I've smelled before. I just don't know what. I don't necessarily require the light scent ones. I just wanted this scent. Um, so I'll let y'all know how that works. Hopefully it works pretty good. This is a laundry detergent we use. I use about a third of the cap. Because you don't have to fill the full cap up. That's just wasteful. It does just as good. Willow eats these sometimes. And sometimes I do. And we were out. We only had the plain ones. So I got that. I'm sorry, I'm talking so much in this vlog, y'all. It's just been a while. And then I got the Great Value brand granola. Um, I don't remember which one I got. And this was my substitute I chose. And they were out of it, so they gave me that. On Ibotta, um, by the way, I should have my code on the screen. These were like a dollar. Get a dollar back or something. I'm sorry, I got like a dollar back on those or something. This was something new, kind of an impulse buy. Normally, I sort of stick to my list. But this sounded pretty good. And, um, I mean, you get in some, I guess, some of your grains for the day and only 8 grams of sugar, 110 calories. So, really like a snack, but I think Michael will like them too. So, I added some of those. I did buy the name brand sour cream this time instead of Walmart, only because I feel like the squeeze tube is so much easier to weigh versus, like, having to scoop it out and blah, blah, blah. So, I did pay a little extra for that. This was Willow's request of the week. She's gotten to where when I do the grocery order, she'll say like, what you need on the grocery order? And she'll come tell me what she needs. And she wanted some of those. We don't do these for breakfast. We do these for like a snack. I do try to keep her getting a good variety as long as she's not super picky. I drink one of these every day. I've been mixing one with the strawberry liquid IV and sometimes the um, like plain LaCroix. It's just a really good refreshing drink. I ran out of chicken bouillon this week, and let me just tell you, that's a southern disgrace. <laughs> so, I got one of those. I think I ran out of parsley. I think I may have some in my cabinet, but I'm not sure, and it was late, and I use it anyway. So, I got another one of those. Two of these. I actually got the English ones that are wrapped. They last longer and taste better, but this was the ones I picked for substitute. So, that's what I ended up getting since they were out of that. I've been using these for meal prep a lot. I love these bowls. These are the two cup ones. These are perfect for my yogurt bowls and like a portion of soup. So I got those. I wanted some of the square ones for like small, um, I guess, charcuterie style lunches. Very handy. This is the three cup um, square container. And then I wanted one more of the, what is this? The seven cup bowl. This is good for leftover storage. So I got that. Two cases of water for the week. I've been drinking about a case a week. I just realized I did forget to show this flour. I ordered a um, dehydrated sourdough starter because everybody recommended. Um, but I have failed with my starter over and over again. And this is the flour that I need for it. And I honestly feel like if I can ever get it going that I will be kind of done with a lot of store bread cracker type products. Because I love sourdough and it's got good like gut healthy things in it. So I got that for when I actually get that in. I can get that started. Um, also, y'all let me know, did y'all like the grocery haul done on the table like this? Because I've had that little bitty white table forever and I have always crammed everything on the kitchen counter. But I was in the middle of getting breakfast stuff cleaned up when the groceries got delivered because it was later than normal. 
and um, I thought, why not go ahead and try the table out? I do think I like the lighting over on the counter better, and if I have a small amount, it makes more sense because it looks fuller. But for a larger grocery haul, I feel like this done pretty well. So y'all comment and let me know like on the quality of this video, how it looked. Did it look better? Did it look the same? Whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.